Hi. <laughs> um, I have this um, friend and he wanted to know, <laughs> silly me, um, if you wanted to get rid of a body, right, uh, and you lived in, say, I don't know, the London area, whatever, what would you actually do? Uh, it's for a novel he's writing. And not, and yeah, yeah, he's writing a novel, so he wants to know the accurate kind of way of sort of, if it's a bath of acid is the best way, where to get the acid from? Do they do it in like home base? Um, or uh, do you like find the nearest like little discreet patch, like forest or something? If so, is it better to, to actually like bury the whole body in one place? Maybe moving it with a wheelbarrow or something. Um, or, or or do you kind of like cut it up first, make a few discreet trips, bury the bits separately? Um, are there any particular things you could use to put off the scent of dogs? Uh, is it feasible to hire some pigs to eat the body? Just kind of, just, 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 you know, because those kind of details, um, you know, very, very important. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, um, for my friend, can you just kind of put that stuff in the, um, in, in in the comment section, okay. Got a body in need of disposal? Just called Barb Services is the company for you. We have a wide range of equipment that will help you with your disposal requirements. All sorts of land moving equipment that will enable you to dig a single plot for a one body disposal or big equipment for large amounts of disposal of bodies e.g. that in-law family that really does piss you off and for that professional touch we have leveling equipment to perfectly hide the graves so that no one will even dream that they are there special services offered by Just Call Bob include the fairground cover-up where you can get your equipment on site without raising suspicion from the neighbors Act now to receive this high-impact phone, courtesy of Just Call Bob Services, your friendly local company. Hey there. Uh, uh, Rumours of my death have been grossly exaggerated. I, I do need to know quite urgently where I can get uh, plasters, super glue, and a king sized butt plug. Alex, stop whimpering. It's quite urgent. I'm really, really sorry, all you, you fans of Jason, but obviously, as you saw, he, he got a hold of Alex, and I, I just could not leave Alex stranded like that. So, uh, if if any of you could figure out a way, um, well, first I'm going to take care of Alex, but then I'm going to have to, of course, dispose of Jason somehow, and I can't possibly eat that many beef patties, well, beef, pork, human, doesn't matter. Either way, I'm, I'm going to need some people to come over and help me eat all the burgers I made, uh, you know. So, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I had a recent issue, because there was Cthodius and then Alex and, and Felita. And, well, it was really messy, and, and there was this big struggle, and it, uh, it was so hard to kill her, and then, like... I don't know, I just kind of put the body in the closet, and then there was Alex, and he was just, he was so piteous, just kind of squirming there, and, and there were, like, band-aids everywhere and, and stuff, and so, I, I, it was like a mercy-killing German barbecue or something. I am rather lucky that there were hamburgers there, because I, I was really hungry.
really have a fair album of them struggling. And, yeah, they were actually pretty good hamburgers. So, um, I ate, um, a lot of them. I, I might have eaten all of them. I blacked out for a while. It was really so... Man, that lady you could fight like a demon. She wasn't really a match from a big knife, though. So, fans of... Just don't hate me. I tried to be quick, and she just wouldn't stop messing around. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Gunderson here. Remember how Queenie said she was... She ate all those Cthonius burgers? Turns out she hid them. And she was planning to sell them to fucking Burger King if she, as actual, as cow, as fucking, as cow, as beef. So I, I couldn't let that happen. And don't worry, Alex is safe. <laughs> Oi. Oi, fucking get back. Uh, he's, he's safe with me. He's safe. And I don't know where Felida went. No sign of her. I don't know what Queenie did with her. I don't want to know. That's, that's all I have to say here. Ignore that. That was... Oi! Fuck! Back! Back! That was... That wasn't someone trying to escape. Hey there everyone! Cthonius here. I'm hiding out in an abandoned cloning lab. Story so far. Al 981X, Alex, you tried to kill me. I was playing possum. I managed to destroy his arsehole with an industrial pneumatic road drill. I got out of there just in time as well, just for leader turned up to help Alex. I sent in a clone and she killed the clone. It's what I expected. It's okay. It's all going according to plan. Then, then Queenie turned up. Man, the battle was epic. There was blood and breasts everywhere. Queenie, though, she was well armed. She took care of Alex. She took care of Felida. Put their bodies in a cupboard. I'm not sure if they were dead, though. I got queer Queenie out just in time. Sent in one of their clones. It's okay, she's with me here. Everything's fucking fine. It's cool. Then Gunderson turned up to help Felida. Fucking Gunderson. They've done away with the clones now. They think me and Queer Queenie are dead. But it's okay. I mean, look, we've, we've got a lifetime supply of tobacco. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> I know Tony62254 is on top of the remo removal of the evidence. He's taking care of the b bodies. He's got just called Bob Bob on it. It's okay. <sighs> Gonna wait till the smoke clears. Wait till the thing we're done for. <sighs> and then it'll be time. Send in the clones. Hi, I've got some bad news to tell everyone. Um, earlier today, I was delivering a uh, digger to Queenie's house, that, that schizophrenic queen, and um, Gunderson was actually helping me back the digger off the, uh, the transporter, um, and for some odd reason, he didn't get out of the way, um, and I only discovered it like 10 minutes after the digger got off the transport. However, on the happy side, uh, I now have a sideline of strawberry jam and roadkill pie. If anyone is interested in making one of these purchases, please let me know because there are uh, there is a very limited supply. Um, um, so there is a silver lining to everything. Okay. Gunderson here, come to sell you something. That. Bar 
bastard, Tony, whatever the numbers are, you didn't fucking run over me. I had loads of sewer rat bodyguards next to me, which he didn't notice. I darted out at the last second, and he ran over all of them, and they were so horribly disfigured, he couldn't tell the difference. I didn't reveal myself to him because... Because I wanted to see if he would buy it, so I'm not fucking dead. I'm still here with Alex. Oh. Yeah, I think he's must have gone for a walk or something. So I'm just here to say... And that's it. Fuck you, Tony. Fuck you for allegedly serving me as roadkill. Uh, okay, well, I'm in here, in a Queenie's closet. Get some light here. Uh, she didn't quite kill me, uh, but look at what she did to my eye. Can you, uh, can you see? Can you see what she did to my eye? That evil witch woman. She fucking fights hard. Like a maniac. I'm gonna get out of here though. Because I have some stuff to do. So let's go. Oh man. Oh. She really got me good, but I'm not dead. I'm not dead. And I heard, I heard that Gunderton is keeping Alex hostage now. And, uh, I heard that Jason is still alive. And I heard he has a clone machine, so that's where we're headed next. <laughs> Okay, I'm finally back home, and I have managed to successfully enter into Jason's clone lab, and I have cloned myself, and the clone stayed there to take care of Jason, because I'm coming for you, Gunderson, and I'm gonna free Alex. So I've heard Felida's coming after me, because she's taken out Cthonius. She's going to come for me now to free to liberate Alex from my clutches. Get back there! Fuck! Come on! Don't fuck me around. Get back! Or I'll chop your knob off. So all I'm, all I'm saying is, come on, Felida. Come and get me. What's going on? Oh god, I was having this great dream that I was, um, hacking my bosses up, and, um, then my dream changed, and my YouTube friends were hacking each other up. Oh my god, my, my YouTube friends, they're, they're in pieces everywhere. They look different somehow. Thonius doesn't have a gut. Oh, come on. Hello YouTube, hello everyone. Now, before this affair goes any further, we, I mean I, 
uh, would like to quash these ridiculous rumours that there is anything at all wrong with the cloning machine. Uh, it is functioning perfectly well and the plan for world domination is still going ahead. Thank you. Bye. Well, I, I went to see if Jason and Queenie were okay. Well, I, I may have started a fire to kill the Felitas there and they just kept coming. I poured some gas on the ground and the cloning machine went up and uh, it was just a big mess. I don't know. I don't know if Queenie got out, but I saw Jason run away. <laughs> they just kept coming. There's blood and burning bodies everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, uh, never stop. Uh, just, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got a body in need of disposal? Just Called Barb Services is the company for you. Introducing now our giant earth movers designed specifically for your mass murdering requirements. No matter how many people you kill, these machines will be able to dig the hole big enough to put them in and cover it up again. All of our equipment is delivered to your door collection is made one hour after the completion of your project. All of this is designed for your convenience and ease of use. Need a place to hide away for just you and your minions? A place where you can relax? Then hire one of our tunnel excavators. Yes, you can have your own underground fortress in no time. And while you're at it, why don't you check out our custom interior designs? Stylishly finished to a very high quality for any disconcerting murderer. Order now and get Bob for yourself. Courtesy of Just Call Bob Services, your friendly local company. I'm here. I'm in the cloning lab. The enemies, they're closing about us. They're almost here. They're, they're <laughs> Quake in fear, you tiny fools. <laughs> I had already used my cloning technology to create other cloning technology. What you have been using is out of date, flawed crap. All that you can create with it are flawed monstrosities. The original I keep under my skin. It's keeping me young. It's keeping me immortal. You think you've been chasing me? <laughs> ah, you've been chasing my smoke. I am wilder than a dream, quicker than an illusion. And you're all boned. Alex almost caught on to my plan. That's why he came to kill me, but he didn't have the full info, did he? No, it was too late for him and his poor ruined asshole. Cause I, I have hostages now. Lovely, lovely hostages. There was, of course, Schizophrenic Queen, my first willing hostages. Oh, Queenie, so willing, so pliant. Tell me, Queenie, what do you wish to do? Give a fuck? I'm yes, that's right. In a minute, dear. I'll get right on it. And then there's my two newest hostages. There is Glutes. <laughs> Glutes. <laughs> Glutes. What do you think of penises, you raging homosexual? know how to use them. See? <laughs> and then there's the other hostage, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, what do you think of penis? That's a really good thing. And how many times would you like to bump uglies? How many times? So there you have it, folks. I have my hostages, and they don't want to go. <sighs> 
with the cloning device under my skin, keeping me young and fresh, allowing me to produce smoke and mirrors to amuse you. You'll never catch me. Nothing and nobody can defeat me. I volunteered to be your hostage, Cathonius. Not to clean your commodes. It's like baby butt tar in there. Nasty. You guys have got to help me. Cathonius has gone freaking nuts. He saved me from some sort of fire cataclysm thing. I don't remember. I blacked out again at some point. And he's holding me prisoner in a recreation of the room that I usually make videos in, which is freaky. He's got everything pretty accurate, except for when I walk out of the room, it's his evil lair, and he just comes in here randomly and, like, waves his gut around, it's, uh, and I'm not sure how long I can deter him. I mean, I'm glad he saved my life, but at the same time, I just want to go home. Somebody rescue me, please. I just need some help, dog. Just help me. Please. Thonis has left me in the care of two of his clones. These clones, they seem different from the others. They have, they have subtle f features that are just different from Thonius and they're, they're mentally slow. I believe that I know what's happened here. I think that Cthonius has started cloning his clones with other clones. This might explain why one of the clones has a big toe sticking out of his forehead. I attempted to escape earlier, but it didn't work. I, I, I tried to trick one of the clones into thinking that he was a flower pot. It worked for a little bit, but the other clone talked him out of it. I, I guess he talked him out of it. It's hard for me to understand Cockney. I just gotta say, please hurry up and get on with the rescue. One of the clones walked into the room earlier carrying a jar of Vaseline, a puffer fish, and a broom handle. He had, he had the most bizarre look on his face. He kept insisting for me to bend over and cough. <laughs> the nerve of this clone. He didn't even buy me dinner first. Somebody, somebody please help me. I've been kidnapped by Cthonios, and, and oh my god, the things he makes me do, they're so unspeakable, I can't take it anymore. Oh god, oh god, somebody please help me before he comes back, and oh, Glutes. oh no, <laughs> Glutes. oh no, 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 please, no, not again, Glutes. oh god. I've made it. I've made it out of that hellhole. Where am I? It does not matter. My feet tell me to run, so I do. I am free. I am free from those clones. I am free from that man. I am free from his perverted nature. I am free from his insanity. I am free from that laugh. <laughs> my legs are like jello now. My lungs burn. I must stop to regain my bearings. My escape was less dramatic. I did not trick the clones. I did not kill the clones. In one brief instance, they ceased to be. Their heads fell off, as if they were programmed to do so, as if their master told them to shut down. I saw my chance and I took it. But the thrill of freedom was short-lived. Something was missing. No, not something, but someone. Queenie. She is still trapped there. I must go back and find her. Her captors may still be alive doing unnatural things to her. 
My ordeal is far from over. I will find... Allowing me to produce smoke and mirrors to amuse you. You'll never catch me. Nothing and nobody can defeat me. Greetings, Cathonius. I am nothing and nobody. <laughs> So, let's see how your cloning technology will endure the power of pure rock and roll! <gasps> oh my god, all these Cthonious clones. They won't leave me alone. They just keep coming. And coming. And coming. I got poor Pinky all weirded out here. I haven't seen any for a while now. I don't know. Did something stop them? Hello there. Mmm. It is I, Elizabeth Elijah Nicomiah. Have you not worked it out yet? I am the mastermind behind the killing spree. Mm. And those are my cloning machines. And I have to say, <clears throat> unfortunately for you, it is my Alex clones that will win this war. Mm. The Chetonius clones we have found are useful. Thank you so much for that idea. Mm. So, my plan for world domination seems to be going rather nicely. And with some ketchup, it's rather tasty. Mm. Wow. Well, I shall bid you adieu for now, but remember. Look after your sausages, and your sausages will look after you. Oh, something happened when I was in the cloning machine. Horrible. I don't know what, but something happened to me. Your clone is dead. Your clone is dead. My clone is dead now. All dead. The cloning All machine dead. is destroyed, but whatever it was that happened to me in there it changed me. It made me feel different. Shut up! Shut up! Different. Oh, better. Horrible. No, shut up! Better. Much better. Mm. And Jason. Jason. Oh, Jason. I'm coming for you now. Heavy metal, EMP, <sighs> took out <the> cloning tech. <sighs> the leader came, the clones rebelled. <sighs> Fucking glutes. <sighs> they all, they all ganged up. <sighs> it's all gone. They're all dead. <sighs> Can't regenerate. Ah, fucking nothing and nobody. Fucking felonoid and Felina. Gunderson. Gunderson, it's Alex. Alex. Don't let Alex. Oh. <laughs> I 
went I went to break Queenie out. There, there was rioting clones. I saw Felita running down one of the hallways. I think Jason's dead. I I now know he's actually dead. I saw him die. And in his last moments, he dropped this, the cloning ring. The one that allowed him to live through all of it, till the end. You see, one of his clones took out my eye. I'm gonna see if this works. Oh, as I was saying, Alex is Elizabeth, Elijah, Nakomia. Always have a backup plan. Elizabeth, Elijah, I am coming for you because I am the master. Stupid ring. Stabilize, you fucker. Elizabeth, you fat flatulent bitch, you won't fucking get away with this. Stabilize! Oh, cock! Hi everyone, just to let you know, because of all the hiring and equipment I've been doing to bury the bodies on the earth because of all the killings that have been going on, I won a great prize from Just Call Bob. Um, yes, it's a, a couple of weeks holiday in a Death Star. Mm, has great views of the planet, its own um, zero gravity room for endless fun, um, its own tennis court, swimming pool, Jakovsky. Yes, I'm in heaven here. What's this button here? primary ignition oops <laughs> 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 Just call Bob Services Product Recall in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you for your custom. Oh fuck. <laughs>